This is Boxing Tickets NA. We are here with the victorious Lewis Crocker. You've obviously headlined here before. Um, I think it was actually the last show it was here as well. Remember, remember the 5th of November 2021. Did it feel a bit more special tonight? Obviously, I guess when you know you're around the world and match room in the zone, did it feel a bit more special for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially with match room in the zone on me. Um, There's so much more eyes on me, so to get the win um, and good fighting um, means everything to me. I guess obviously the weight problems yesterday. I'm, I'm not obviously going to, you know, I know what people's been like online, but if you hadn't headlined here before, you maybe could have crumbled under that pressure. So I guess that experience you sort of had previously of being fighting here, that obviously the problems with the weight yesterday, you were relaxed, you knew what was what was obviously coming, you know, yeah. did that help sort of with, with, with the fight? Yeah, it was relaxed because once I got the phone call five weeks out, this, this put his says, can you fight next month? I was like, yeah, but like 147 is going to be tight. I'm not risking my health because I like to do a full camp, cut it down gradually. I hadn't trained between the fight and by the time I got the call. So they gave me five weeks and it was, can you do like 154 was pushed for to me. And I was like, no, right, right, no problem. 152, right, right. Can you do 150? Right. And then once I got here and the Mexicans were kicking off a bit, it's like, I'll do 147. So, but what did the check weigh in? And obviously was sitting a slightly heavier, like you know, the not at the actual end, like the pre, like on the Tuesday, and the British Boxing Board Control wouldn't let me go under 150, and I wanted to, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but anything was asked to me, I did it, like from the get go. So the way it's been betrayed as if like I've missed weight, no, this is what was put to me, and I worked around people, you know what I'm saying, and and I did, like you get the f five weeks, who else is going to do take a fight? Five, me, my hands were injured going into the fight, my, from the mechanical fight. Um, like he, I was, hardly any notice, everything. It was four pounds lighter than what I originally took the fight. I was going to take the fight at 147, and then they wouldn't let me do it. And then they hit me with a rehydration clause at five o'clock yesterday. Do you know what I'm saying? So before people start giving me grief, get the, like, know their story first. Yeah. Anyway, you know what I mean? I, I, guess in, in so, I guess in some ways, you know, you've never had a problem with weight before, you know, and I, I know personally you've never had a problem with weight before. You get these people online nowadays where they just look for anything, they pick a hole, they sort of try and get inside your head. Were you sort of surprised by how tough Jose Felix was there tonight? Obviously, I guess Mexicans are tough, they're warriors, but you obviously, I think the, the first knockdown was obviously a left to the body, um, and obviously get up and you're sort of going, like, what do you have to do to put this guy down? Particularly after 10 rounds with Tyrone, you're going, I don't want another 10 rounds of, of, of thumping someone. Were you sort of surprised by how tough he was? It's easy to get up from the body shot, um, like fair play to him, and he came in, like you only had to look at the guy, he was in great shape. Do you know what I mean? Um, like he was clearly trading over last month and stuff. And yes, fair play to him. Even like that left hook at the end, he was he tried to get up towards the end, like so tough, tough guy, but um, great to get the victory. You obviously said in the, uh, on Thursday that obviously you wanted to rest, obviously afterwards. I just want to go back a wee bit. Obviously when we've done an interview before, some of your mates knew Conor Ben. They obviously like Conor Ben more than you. Are you sort of starting to swing some of them around now where they're sort of there seeing the potential you have? You know, where they, they obviously like Conor Ben, and they were sort of going comparison sort of thing. Are you sort of switching some of them around now where they're going, they want to see that sort of sort of fight happen? Well, see if you're supporting someone else and not me, mate. You're not my mate. Do you know what I mean? So at least I'm sort of getting the publicity now as well. Like, so don't really care about it. It's long overdue as well, isn't it? Well, seven years now you're, you're turning pro, obviously, I think. Was it March, March 2017? Uh, um, obviously, you're probably becoming a veteran, obviously, Irish boxing sort of now, and you're still very, very young. I guess these, this last 12 months has probably been, probably fair to say, the best best of that seven years. Aye, definitely. Like, the last two months have been, been great for me. And to get like a good victory in January, at the start of the year, like, it's pushing me on for a master's year and shows what I can do in front of the, on the biggest stage. And it looks like potentially Matchroom's going to be back in June. Frank Smith obviously seems to suggest, and I don't know where he's changed his mind, where he obviously wants to do you and Paddy next. I've obviously spoke to people at length and go, why? You know, you, you and Paddy will have no problem fighting. Money's the issue, but at the same time, why can, why can Irish box not have two stars, one in the north and one in the south? You know, I know what these are like, these are fighters, you'll say yes, the money's right, but what would you like to do next? I just feel like you can build that fight up so much better. Do you know what I mean? If you let him head, headline down Limerick and stuff and let me headline in Belfast and then you know, let us get a win, a win or two and it builds it this massive fight and we'll both get well compensated for it. Do you know what I mean? Because we're both aware. Like, we're both undefeated uh, and we're both willing to fight each other. But let's make it as big as it can be. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, and, and let's, let's get the most out of it.
You box and obviously Frampton's card, obviously Tyson Fury in 2018. Is, is, is that sort of becoming more a realistic target for you? Now you're obviously going to look at Windsor Park and go, it's on your doorstep, headline obviously at Windsor Park. Do you start to now realise now that this could be a dream and a reality for yourself? Yeah, for sure. Like, I would love to. <laughs> a squat quick wing rock as well. You could obviously walk from the house to the, to the, to Windsor Park. Uh, that's right, aye. I know. Um, Windsor Park, like, that would be class. That would be my dream to headline Windsor Park, so would. Um, but. Yeah, like, who knows what would happen with, with like, the right back and behind me and stuff. I feel like we could bring big nights back to Belfast. Part one of three is done, obviously, Potty's, Potty's in action in four weeks' time and Anto's in action in three weeks' time. Obviously, two more big wins to come from Irish Box. It's going to start the year off with a massive bang for us. Oh, 100%. Um, I'm delighted for the boys to get the big opportunities and hopefully both of them can um, go out there and put on good performances and get the win. Um, so, yeah, best of luck to them. And finally, up to the fans tonight, they obviously made that very special for you. Anything you'd like to say to them? To everyone who came out and supported me, it means everything to me. Um, thank you very much. It really does mean everything to me. Thank you. Yes, thanks very much for your time. Enjoy your rest. And um, we'll see you very soon. Sounds good, mate. Thank you.